Okay, here's the place for our academic pages for our teacher spotlights or whatever we want to call it. So I sent out the electronic form last week to teachers. I've heard back from some, but not everybody. So I will probably uh, email those people who have not yet responded. I'll email them this week again to make sure that they do fill that out. I think some people are waiting to try to figure out what kind of pictures to send. So I'll check in and uh, find out about that. But once I do get the answers from the teachers uh, on that form, I will email a copy of that to you so you can read through what they've said. If you remember right, they're asking, we're asking them questions about other classes this year, like which one was the most fun, maybe which class was the craziest, uh, what, what assignments they really enjoy look, or teaching or looking forward to. And then there's something about remote learning and what's hard about it or what, what do you need to support or something along those lines. So you can choose from their information what you want to include in your space for each teacher. So the way that this is set up, there is a box for each teacher. So I went through and I already just laid this out quick so it's consistent. But we've got English, science, math, Spanish on this section. The next page has others and so on. But uh, there's a box, like I said, for each teacher. So um, whichever ones you are assigned to, you can check on that handout to make sure that you know. There were a couple quick changes that I made uh, because maybe some departments have three teachers and some only have one. So there's a couple people that I gave an extra teacher to or, or split those up. So make sure that you're looking at that to see which ones you're assigned to. Uh, but within the section, there's a space for text. Uh, so you can do it more like a question where you have Let's say you did, uh, like at the beginning of this text box, you decided to have the question here. If I can click on this. Um, let's say this is the question and you decide to put that in bold. And then um, you can have the answer after it. But let's keep the, the font. Oh, I can't bold this font. I'll have to think about that. So I guess if you want to do a question, you can keep the font like this, or you can change that part of the font to the other, the craft gothic demi would probably be the best way to do it. So that will basically bold that font. So you can have the question, like let's say you ask them, you know, what was your favorite class this year? And then you put their answer in. If you're taking it exactly how they wrote it, put quotation marks, you know, most of these you are gonna use quotation marks because it is like a question and answer. If you'd rather just put it into more of a paragraph, like according to so-and-so, their favorite thing was this and that. I don't really care how you guys choose to do it, but um, maybe within whichever department you're looking at, keep it consistent. So um, do a question and answer for that in this text space. The photo here, I think what might make sense to keep them consistent is we'll just take the picture from the, like their yearbook photo and stick it in. And then the extra space that's in there can be for whatever pictures that they send us. Now, if they send us a bunch of pictures and those pictures are worth more than this information, we could make this a little bit smaller. This is something we're gonna kind of sort of have to figure out as we go. So if you run into problems, like you have way more information that's gonna fit in that space, let me know, you know, send me a message or an email and we can talk about what makes sense to do. We can change this font to make it smaller. We can make this more of a caption font. Right now it's the body font, so that can change. Um, but like I said, it's really gonna depend on what we get back from these teachers, what we can actually do. So this is just a general layout to get started. You can put it in how you want. You know, maybe if somebody gets way ahead and gets it all um, figured out, Everybody else can kind of follow suit. So this is something, like I said, we're going to have to figure out sort of as we go. So here's the next page, the business tech department, phys ed and health, social studies. Um, we do have a few pictures that you guys have already uh, gotten. I know that there was a picture for the business um, with one of the, I think it was a field trip Mrs. Wagner's class took. We do have some pictures from the health fair first semester. Um, Mrs. Brenneman sent some pictures in the social studies, I know, of like a, a Zoom call that youth and government did. The Ag Department always has a ton of pictures, so I'm sure we can get some from them. Uh, I have some for art, music. I, we could maybe even throw in some like, no, we already have musicals, but we'll figure it out. I know Mr. Uh, Van Gorder sent some music pictures. So this is something 
you guys will have to see what we get and then put it in. But we do want to get this done sooner rather than later. This is a relatively simple part of the book to do. Uh, this is a grade for you. I think I put it in that it needs to be done on the 15th, which is the last day for seniors. Most of you guys are seniors. So um, if you have any questions or problems about this section, um, once you get started on it, like I said, just email me, text, or send a message on Remind, and we will figure it out.